here we go another useful tip from the goat shed on EM pinball repair so today is Saturday March 5th and we're incorporating this in part of our training course today we want to talk about the SB armature switch this is it here when you have a a sequence bank lifted up it's the one connected to the base of the armature plate of the sequence bank now these trip banks were used for a number of years and uh, this switch was there if that switch doesn't close properly when the trip bank is operated in other words if it's not touching correctly or even bent open the reset process will not complete now these trip banks of course we've spoken about before they fold down you put them in and we lift them up and we can see this whole piece here so what we do every time we get one of these most of the trip banks which SB armature switches are on the motorboard but you occasionally get machines such as say Bowling Queen uh, what do we have a Sweethearts here recently the reset is um, under the play field so you've got to look out for them now they're easy to move off for the purpose of the video I've already loosened a screw here we'll just take this one out undone that just pop that back and you'll slide it down now let's have a look at this switch see if we can get it there it's pretty badly scored so we're going to put that on the uh, Dremel the underneath part will be the same bit hard there you go it's pitted so it's a bit of a mess it needs a bit of a clean up looks like someone's had trouble with it before you can see the the blade is actually bent there so they've they've been adjusting it without taking it out uh, the easiest way to work on these is actually have the motor board out in the bench like I have it out here now so let's um, get the Dremel tool out and we'll clean that up okay so we've got our block of wood Let's start our Dremel up. And like I say, this is pretty badly pitted. Increase the speed of the Dremel. Still not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than it was. So we'll just turn it over now. And we'll do the other side. That side came up a lot better. So 
So I'll just pop that screw back in there. Now, the idea is to make sure that the blades are touching. Good. Now, like I said earlier, that one's been... Yeah, that's nice and... That's nice and square. It's touching cleanly. So... Sometimes it's necessary to unsolder the two wires. I, I, because I had this big block here today, I, I felt that wasn't necessary. And what we're going to do, we're just going to lift this back up now, and we can slide that in there. Oh, now one thing you need to be aware of, it's a little hard to see. Uh, so we're just going to have to... Just see the bottom of it there. That's... A piece of insulation to keep the blade off the armature plate obviously make sure that's there we did actually have one where that was missing once caused short circuit so that was problematic so you know always make sure that's there so that's where the actual switch blade rests on just sit it in there like that bring the bring it over and we'll screw that back down now Oops, I'm not on it. I'm trying not to knock the... There we go. And we'll screw it down. Oops, it's over on the edge. I'm trying to do this without knocking the gimbal. There we go. off again whoops reach up there we go that's better screw that back down have a look right so it's a bit fiddly to you adjust it as best you can and you've got to you've got to keep this bar out of the road that tends to get in the road a fair bit uh, if you're not careful this is this reset bar and uh, Remember it goes underneath, not the top part, but the underneath part. Put it back down. Lock the wing nuts into place. There your wing nuts there. Lock them into place. And as we've said in previous videos, make sure that the, the outside frame and the inside frame are even. They're, they're pushed down. Same on both sides. Same here. It's very important that you can, you'll have problems with the trip bank. Another tip while we're talking about it is that always get a, um, a Q-tip with some isopropyl and clean these rollers. Some are white, these are black. They get gunk on them, and you can even go to the trouble of dremeling the tip of the switch blade if you wish, so that they operate smoothly. Now, now we've set that back down in place, what we're going to do, we're going to get our meter here, and we've got one lead clipped on the back, and now, if I've adjusted that right, We're open at the moment, and now we'll trip that particular reset relay, like such. And now we should have a circuit. And we do. So that's how you adjust the Notorious SB armature switch. Sometimes you've got to do it a couple of times, but it is easier to take it out of the unit. And if you just remember those few little tricks that we talked about, 
you'll have no problems. So there you go. We hope that helps people with these tricky switches. Once again, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us the big thumbs up. We make these videos for you, free of charge, to help everyone in the pinball community be able to repair their machines. So this has been another Goat Shed presentation.